Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I prepared video with book shaped wooden box and stencils. This one is going to be quite long, so get yourself a cup of coffee and we can start. First we need to paint top of the box with white primer or paint as we will be gluing rice paper on it. Remember that we need light backgrounds when we use rice paper on napkins as those are very thin and our paint will show through it. As usual, rice paper needs to be torn with fingers for better blending. All the supplies can be purchased in our shop and link to it is in the description below this video. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of the exact same box, but managed to get something similar. Apply glue under the picture as well as on top, smoothing it from the middle towards the edge. Today we will be using stencils and I know those aren't cheap, but remember that they will last you a lifetime if you buy good quality one. I have this really good glue in spray which helps hold stencil in one place and prevents paint or paste to leak under it. You need to spray stencil from the distance and wait a couple of minutes for glue to dry and become sticky. Glue your stencil by pressing it to the box and apply structure paste with spatula. It is important to clean your stencil in warm water immediately after you finish working with it. When everything is dry, I paint my whole box with black acrylic paint. It is difficult to work with boxes because you can't paint the whole thing at once. You have to do it in stages, waiting for one part to dry, before you can start with the other.
I went crazy and used more stencils, this time inside, so you need to repeat what we did before. First, we use spray to glue our stencil to the box and then we apply structure paste with spatula. You can also use masking tape instead of spray and credit card instead of spatula. Any structure paste will work with stencils. When everything is dry, we can create fake book pages. Tape the lid of the box to the base with masking tape to prevent the box from opening. Then apply more structure paste and use either fork or toothpick to create pages. You will need to work in stages once again, waiting for sides to dry before you can do the front. The most important thing is opening the box for drying time. I want my book box to look like from another century with loads of reliefs everywhere, so I apply relief paste. At first I used gold one but I didn't like the look of it and wiped it off, so I used white relief instead. Once again we work in stages and don't worry if you can't apply it perfectly, this will not be visible when we finish.
Because my structure paste is flat and relief paste quite raised, I use sandpaper to flatten it down a little bit. When we are happy about the finish, we use dark brown and black paint to cover white reliefs. Now my favorite part and wax pastes. First I use the silver one to achieve metal look on my box and to make reliefs visible. On top of silver wax I apply a little bit of gold wax paste to create aged silver look. When everything is dry, we can start working with two-step crackle varnish. First, we apply step one and we wait for it to dry and become transparent. It is important to use soft brush and apply it as evenly as possible. Then we can apply step 2 and wait for it to dry and crack.
unfortunately after two days not even one crack why it's very cold and humid that's why but we do not panic we use hair dryer and knock on the box in order for varnish to crack but we do not touch the varnish with fingers if you leave finger marks on crackle dry pigment will stick to it leaving ugly marks all over your project I use copper dry pigment for my box and very soft brush to push powder in cracks. If you have a chance to do this in the garden, then go outside as dry pigment will fly all over your room. Use kitchen towel or, or tissues to wipe excess. Now we need solvent-based varnish to seal the cracks. Don't ever use water-based varnish on two-step crackle as this will damage your project and wash out dry pigment from cracks. We always use solvent-based varnish. When my box got dry, I added some silver pearls around images and voila, it's all finished. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed this video.